So, I've wanted to do this for a while, and we've been meaning to do this. <laughs> but every time we hang out, we're doing shiz, and there's no no real time. Just forgetting, like, hey, you remember you want to do that? Yeah. All right, guys. So. Pretty much, Brian has moved on to a new section of his life. We came together um, on the JET program like at the same time, and we... I don't know what I'm trying to say. We came from the same place, pretty much. We both came from the Houston... Uh, Texas. 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 Consulate, yeah, whatever. Texas. But Brian has now moved on, and he... Although he's in Japan, and he's still teaching, he's not teaching in the JET program anymore. So he has left the JET program. What the heck, my butt's getting all wet. Sitting on so he's left the JET program, and uh, I finished my contract. Yeah, he I finished, he finished no. his contract. And uh, but now he's moved on to like what? What is it? What is it that you're teaching at now? I'm teaching at an international school. At an international school. It's a private school. Oh, like an IB? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. So that's pretty. That's pretty crazy. But uh, anyways, so he he was on Jet for one year, and then he decided to you know move on. So we're gonna we're gonna do a little interview with Brian and see and uh, pick his brain a little bit. <laughs> so Brian. Oh, by the way, this is completely unscripted, so, you know, his answers may not be smooth, my questions may not be smooth. Doesn't matter, just, uh, you know, if you're curious, here he goes. So, Brian, why did you decide that it was time to move on from JET, and it, why would you go to, a, like, a private school instead of JET? Well, moving on from JET, at least, every situation is gonna be different for every JET. Uh -huh. I mean... In general, we're all doing the same thing, but the results are obviously going to be very, very different. And, but, across the board, most Jets I've spoken to have said that we really don't really teach English. Uh, we pretty much just teach it to test, so in that regard, we feel a little unfulfilled. And how much of a difference are we really making in these kids' lives? I mean, you can't quantify that. We're, they're not gonna learn English from us, so at this point, it's just how much of our culture can we share and make them aware of, and that's hard to quantify. It's gonna be years down the road, if right. at all. So, at least for me, I felt like I really wasn't doing it. It was just an extended vacation. I didn't feel productive. I was, I was just showing up and getting paid. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. But what about your whole living situation? How about that? How'd you feel about living that? Living situation? I mean, I was in Doi, which is the Inaka, the countryside, and it was really country. It is more country than Siyama, guys. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, a lot more, which should tell you something. The first time I went to Siyama, I was like, wow, this is not. I could live here. <laughs> yeah. I could live here. I mean, Doi was nice in the fact that it was small, so I could never get lost. Uh huh. But there wasn't a lot to do there at all. There was uh, Arena, which is my gym. Sucked. If I wanted to go <laughs> see like a movie, I had to go to the next city over. If I wanted to go to a really good supermarket, I had to go to the next city over. Uh, I mean, the cost of living was really cheap, so there was that going for it. Uh -huh. But there wasn't a lot to do there. Yeah. And I was the I was the only foreigner, so if I wanted to speak English, I had to go somewhere else. Which is okay. I mean, that, that I knew the community in Japan. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, Sometimes you, you kind of get a little tired of speaking a foreign language every day, yeah, for 24 sure. hours, you get a little fatigue. It's, like, it's always yeah, nice yeah, to yeah. have someone speak English. When yeah, I know. I always, I always get like tired just listening to If you're actually trying to pay attention or listen to it all day, you get a little tired. Yeah. Yeah. But having said that, I really... The people in Doi were really good to me. Uh, I enjoyed the students okay. a lot. We always had fun. They still, they still talk to me. Oh, yeah, uh, my battery died. Let me change my batteries. I had some technical difficulties, i.e. my battery died. But anyways, back to the question, so... That, that was the best part of the job, interacting with the students and... You were saying they still they still talk to you or something? Yeah, they still talk to me online and Facebook. Okay. Uh, no message. What age group? I was in uh, middle school and elementary, so obviously the middle schoolers. Okay. Alright, so what... Well, one more thing I wanted to say uh -huh. is that I took Japanese three years in college, and that is not enough. Not enough to live here. It is not enough to live here. So it was advantageous for me to live in Doi where there's no English whatsoever because it helped me develop my Japanese a lot. Uh -huh. That survived. Yeah. So that was one of the pluses of living in Doi. That there's no It kind of counters what I said earlier. Yeah. But living in Japan, oh, you need Japanese. Good parts and bad parts, right? Good parts and bad parts. The ups and what? But it's getting super wet sitting on the wet chair. But anyways, <laughs> okay, so now here's a big question. What did you think about your, the jet community in your area? 
Well, let me listen. So the Jet community in Okayama is super nice. Like everyone's very nice. Like we have our little own little cliques where they hang out. With certain people hang out with certain people, but everyone gets along very well. And like even though I don't make it out of Siyama that much, because it's very far and costly, they still invite me to events and stuff every time they're up. So like they don't hate on me just because I live away or anything. So that's pretty. Trading men, Thomas. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Rain and men, dude. <laughs> My favorite. Not just kidding. But yeah, so like they always invite me, even though I don't make it out the most. They don't kind of like, they don't hate on me just because I don't make it out, you know. But anyways, now so so what? How was the jet community in your area, though? So in, I was in the Ehime. Uh huh. Or Ehime. Ehime. Okay. Our situation was, was a little funny in that. So let's say this is Ehime. Uh huh. Pretty much 90% all jets are on the left side, uh, and my city and all jets around me were on the very edge of the prefecture away from all the other jets. Uh -huh. So I saw them like just as a whole uh -huh. in my prefecture, I saw them twice okay. at orientation and at our skills development conference in December. So I only really interacted with my city's jets because uh -huh. it, it was an hour to two hour train ride to see all the jets. And, uh, that was just not very uh, convenient. Right. You know, a lot of times I just felt, I felt lazy. I didn't want to do our train rate to uh, see. But anyways, the city is this. This city was notorious for being very, uh, very much a fleet. They didn't interact with others at all. Uh -huh. Like avoid them. Everyone knew it. Everyone talked about it. And at first it was fine. I was fine with them. Uh, we got along. I hung out with them. Uh -huh. But in my city, I lived on the other side of the city from them, so I kind of was gas time. I was tired from work. I didn't. I just kind of stopped going to certain things, and after a while, they just stopped kind of avoiding, excluding me. I felt pretty left out. Start shunning you? Yeah, it kind of. A few times it got kind of bad. I mean, those assholes. I'm just kidding. No, but seriously though, so that's what I'm saying. Like every situation is different, and that even includes the jet like community you're surrounded by because not all the jet areas are like nice. Like Okayama, I think they're so, super nice. Everyone's very nice. Even like, even though we don't see each other very often, they never kind of like they're never like, oh wow, there's that Thomas guy. He never comes out. Freaking, freaking idiot. Always training his muscles and shit. No, just kidding. <laughs> but anyways. Yeah, but then in Brian's area, it's like they're like they were like, oh, Brian doesn't come out anymore. Well, we're gonna shun him because he doesn't make it out. F this, and uh, yeah, that's kind of lame. But every every situation different because you know it's human, it's humans. You know, you can't really predict what's gonna happen. But yeah. So how are you liking your new place now then? Oh, where are you even at right now? I am in Hiroshima City. Big upgrade. It is very different. It is quite a bit more expensive, but. I'm enjoying it a lot more. So my apartment, my apartment door was kind of old. It's meant for a family kind of thing. Starting to so, rain. Crap. <laughs> it's hard to clean, and it was just more than I needed. My apartment right now, I really like it. It's small, it's that big size, but easy clean. It's in a very good location, it's right in front of the station. I can go to. I have various supermarkets. I don't have one. Uh -huh. I have various options there. Uh, one of the things that was kind of uh, inconvenient living in, in Dori Shikoku, Shikoku is uh, one of the islands of Japan, but it doesn't have a Shikansen that goes to it. So oh, each time I wanted wow. to go somewhere, I had to take a slow train up to Okayama and then get on the train to go wherever I wanted. Wow. So there was always that extra step. Hiroshima, I can just jump on Shikansen and go wherever I want. Same with Shikama. But yeah. <laughs> you know my pain. Yeah. Or, yeah. All right, well, that's cool. That is cool. So, how are you thinking about, like, life in Japan in general? Do you want to stay longer? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to, but I don't know yet. Uh -huh. I mean, it's like my second year, I'm definitely enjoying it. Yeah. And just gonna see how the year treats me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, cool. So that's probably gonna end this because this is about 15 minutes long already, believe it or not. I'm pretty sure. It's starting to rain. Yeah, it's starting to freaking rain, man. We got no umbrellas. Yeah, we don't have any umbrellas. Damn it. But yeah, if uh, if you guys have any questions you want to ask Brian or whatever, just comment down below or something, and maybe he'll answer them, or maybe I'll tell him about them, and he'll answer them, and I'll I'll answer you. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, if you have any questions that you want to ask a former jet who's moved on to bigger and better things. 
then comment down below. But that's gonna just be the end of this. This is not a vlog, this is just a random, you know, kind of let's get an ex-just point of view. So, yeah guys, until next time, peace out!